Russian and Ukrainian forces were engaged in intense fighting on Wednesday over the town of Solidar in eastern Ukraine. A stepping stone in Moscow's push to capture the entire Donbass region. The Russians appeared to have the upper hand. Moscow's defence ministry said airborne units had cut off Solidar from the north and south. And the mercenary group Wagner, which has spearheaded the assault, said on Tuesday it now controlled the small salt mining town despite pockets of Ukrainian resistance in the centre. But Ukraine's military denied Solidar had fallen and said its defensive lines had not been breached. Reuters was able to verify the location of this outdoor footage released by Ukraine's armed forces on Monday, but not the date it was filmed. It also purports to show Ukraine's Colonel General, Alexander Sirsky, speaking to soldiers in the region. Serhii Sherevati, spokesperson for the Eastern Military Command, told Ukrainian television the intensity of the battles was reminiscent of World War II. And Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov stopped short of claiming victory, acknowledging heavy Russian losses. Victory in Solidar would have symbolic, military and commercial value for Moscow, after battlefield setbacks in recent months, and provide a base to intensify attacks on Bakhmut. Russian state media said Wagner had taken over the town's cavernous salt mines, which once produced salt exported to 20 countries. This photograph posted on Wagner's Telegram channel appeared to show the head, Yevgeny Prigozhin, and his fighters inside them. Reuters has been unable to independently verify the situation in Solidar because of the fierce fighting. But a Reuters photographer who reached the outskirts in recent days said many residents had fled along roads out of the town in perishing cold. They saw ambulances waiting and chaotic scenes in field hospitals.